On today's episode, we're going to take this male portrait and turn it into this painting using Photoshop and Topaz Studio 2. Stay tuned. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. This is episode number 40 of my Topaz Studio 2 creative toolbox series. I can't believe there's 40 of these already and I love doing these videos. Now I'm providing this image for you in the description below a download link so you can follow along with me. It's a great way of learning. We start out in Photoshop. We're going to send this into Topaz Studio 2, add the painterly effect to it and then we're going to bring it back into Photoshop. But once we get back into Photoshop there's going to be some issues that have developed while we were in Topaz Studio 2 but we're going to take care of those in Photoshop. It's going to be a real easy fix, so make sure you stay tuned for the Photoshop portion of this video. I've already went ahead and duplicated my background layer and labeled it uh, or named it Topaz Studio 2. Now, I'm, now I'll come up to Filter and we're going to go ahead and launch Topaz Studio 2 and we will get this show on the road. Now here we are inside of Topaz Studio 2. Hey, and by the way, if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe, click that uh, bell notification icon, then you'll be notified every time I upload a new tutorial. And if you enjoy the tutorial, please give it a like and share it with your friends. This really helps me to grow my channel, and I really appreciate you for doing that, and I want to thank you in advance. The first thing we're going to do in Topaz Studio 2 is come up to Add Filter, and we're going to come down to the AI Remix Filter. And there's a filter in here called Ocean Floor, and let me see if I can find it real quick here. It is right here, Ocean Floor. So we can click this, and that applies that AI Remix to to this image. And basically what AI Remix is doing, it's taking different styles of art and remapping them to your image. Now I know that doesn't look great, but this is just a starting point. But you'll be amazed, we'll start here and we'll keep developing this uh, image as we go. And a lot of times they start out looking a little on the weird side, but they kind of work themselves out as we go. And I just experiment and try different things. And the only thing I'm gonna do on this uh, particular uh, filter is take this opacity and pull it back to like about a 37, right like that. That's all I'm doing. And you can see now it looks a lot better. So if you click this eyeball, here's the before and here's the after. But I'm just starting to develop that painterly look and I'm using the AI Remix to start it. Next up, what I want to do is add another filter. This time it will be the Impression Filter, one of my favorite filters inside of Topaz Studio 2. It gives you that painterly look. We're going to start out with uh, Type 03 for the brush stroke. Now you have these different brushes here. You can click on these different brushes. And when you do, you can see you'll get a different effect with each one of these brush strokes, okay? But after some experimentation, I decided I like Type 03 the best. And I generally work from the top to the bottom when I'm working with these different filters. So I've picked my brush stroke. Next, I'm gonna pick the number of strokes. Now, if I choose low, watch the image when I click on low. It, it loses a lot of its detail. Medium, you get a little more detail back. And if I go to high, you get even more detail back in. And for now, I think I do like the high the best. Now, can you see these little flecks here, these little white flecks in the image all around here? If you don't like those and you want to get rid of them, all you need to do is come down to the bottom of this filter under texture and you'll notice you have background type solid or original. Click on original and those will magically go away. And now let me go ahead and slide back up to the top of this filter and we'll go ahead and start adjust making some adjustments for the brush strokes. I'm not going to change too many settings in here, but one that I will change is the paint volume. I'm going to take it up to around a 20. And notice when I pull it up, can you see what it's doing? It's adding some volume to the paint. You can see some more texture in here. But I take this up on this image to about a 20. I think it looks really good. And then the brush volume, I'm going to leave it at zero. But I'm going to change the paint opacity to about an 81. And when I do this, it will increase the actual the thickness of the paint and I'm going to take this up to an 81 just like so and then the last thing I'm going to do is play with the stroke width not too much I'm going to make my stroke width a little 
less wide. So I'm going to take it back to like a minus six, just a minimal adjustment. And the length of the stroke, I'm going to shorten it just slightly to like a minus 0.13. And that's all I'm going to do. Now, if we click on this eyeball right here on the impression layer, we can see the before and now we can see the after. I'm happy with this so far. The next thing I want to do is add a texture to give it a little bit more character. We're going to go ahead and click on add filter and let's click on texture. And I love the texture filter inside of Topaz Studio too. It's really amazing. I'm using a texture in here called concrete. Now that's not it on the screen right now, but it's right here. And by the way, if you know the name of a texture, you can just type it in the search field and it'll pull it up for you right away. But this one's easy. It's right here. I'm going to click on concrete and you can see the effect I'm getting. Now, all I did here was change the blend mode. Now, blend modes are a big friend to you when you're using textures and a really good blend mode for texture, or I should say really good blend modes for textures are like multiply, um, screen, overlay, soft light, hard light, vivid light, linear light. These are all really good blend modes, but I uh, decided on overlay for this particular one. So I'm clicking on overlay. And then what I did was I increased the opacity. The, the opacity of this filter is set to 50 by default. I increased that to a 68 because I wanted a little bit more of that texture to show through. Now, if I click this eye right here, you'll see here's the before and here's the after. Then if you click on this layer texture again, you'll open up all your adjustments here. And then I think I made one more adjustment and that was this texture has a, has a color to it. As you can see, it's kind of a beige tan type color. And if I take the saturation, move it to the right, you can see I can induce more of that color in there. And sometimes that's cool. But in my case, I took the saturation and took it the whole way off because I didn't want the color to affect it. I just wanted this really nice texture in here. And that's all I wanted there. Now, here's the before the texture. And here's after the texture. So I like that texture. It's adding a lot of nice character to this image. And I think it really suits this gentleman really well. Next, I'm gonna add one more filter and that's gonna be another texture filter. And this texture filter is called Border Fade 6. And I believe it comes with Topaz Studio too when you purchase it. I'm gonna type Border Fade and it is this guy right here. I recognize it. Border fade. See, these are all different border fades. Border fade six. I could have typed six in there, but I didn't have to in this case. Border fade six. And I changed the blend mode from normal to multiply. Again, another one of my favorite blend modes. And then I decreased the opacity to like a 43. I believe it was. Check my notes here. Yeah, 43. And then the last thing I did was I took its detail and I made the detail a 91. Now watch the edges here because it's mainly on the edge here, okay? Watch when I take this detail and start to bump it to the right. See that edge detail starting to really pop out? And I'm basically trying to add a border to this. And again, the texture is called border fade, right? It makes sense. Now let's take a look at the before this texture. And here it is after. And I'm liking it. And I'm pretty much done here. Now, I'll, I'll explain the issues that I'm finding with uh, Topaz Studio 2 here. And, I'll, and then we'll go into Photoshop and I'll show you how we can fix them. But first, let's look at the overall before and after. What I'll do is left click and hold down with my mouse anywhere on the canvas here. There's the original. Release the left click of the mouse and here's the after. So I really like it. Now here's the issues I'm having. If you notice on, on the gentleman's forehead here, there's some blue here. And I don't know if I like the color in the background here. And uh, on the shirt here, there's a little bit of a, it looks like a little bit of a tan color in here. And I think I want to change it to blue. And on his beard, we have a little bit of blue tones on the beard here. I'm going to show you how to very simply and easily fix this in Photoshop coming up. So really stay tuned. Before I send this back to Photoshop, all that work we've done, we may want to use it again on another portrait. And so we may want to save this as a look. And I highly recommend that you do that. To do that, you can come over here up to the right-hand corner and click Save Look. 
give it a name. You can give it a description if you want to as well and click OK. I've already done it, so I'm not going to do it again. I'm just going to click Cancel, but save it as a look, and that way you can apply it to different images, and it'll save you a lot of time. It's a really good tip for you. To add a look to any of your images, all you need to do is come up to Add Look, give that a click, and then your looks will live inside there. There'll be a list of them. And now I'm going to go up to the upper left-hand corner of the menu and click Accept, and that'll send us right back into Photoshop. And now that we're back in Photoshop, I can click on this eyeball. We can see the before, and here's the after. So I'm happy with everything. Like I said, I, I think I want to change this to the same color of this bluish type color here. On his beard, there's some blue that I want to fix. I want to get rid of this bluish tone on his forehead. And there's some blue in his hair that I want to get rid of. I want to fix some areas on the shirt. And this is going to be a real easy fix. All we need to do is make sure you have the Topaz Studio 2 layer selected. Come down here. See where this little square with the plus is. Click this. That adds a new blank pixel there. Change its blend mode to um, color to a color blend mode, which is right here. And then all you need to do is get your brush. I'm just gonna use a shortcut B for brush, and I'm gonna hold my Option or Alt key down. And for instance, I'm gonna sample this color right here, and I'm gonna simply paint over this area, and it'll paint that color onto here. Now, I'm, my opacity for my brush is 100%, my flow is 100%, now watch this, I'm just gonna paint over here, and I can fix that right there. Fix that right up, just like so. In fact, if I want to, if I want to keep this color all the same, I can go ahead and just color that whole color around this whole area here and make sure all that color is the same, just like so. Keep that background a little more consistent, and I miss a little spot right in here, okay? So I've changed that background color really simply and easily. And then this area right in here, I'm going to option or alt click on this color on his forehead here and just paint that like that. And that fixes that right up. Now his hair up here has a little bit of blue in it. So I'm going to sample this color right here, make my brush a little bit smaller, and then I can come up in here and just paint just like that. Even on these areas up in here where it's blue. And even where the forehead's shown through here a little bit, I can paint this, make this all look like it is hair, even around here. See that? And that separates the hair from the background, which is rather nice as well. And then I could go ahead and use that same color down on the beard in this area right in here. Get rid of this little bluish cast that's on here. And take your time and get it right. I'm get, you know, I might be a little sloppy in this little area, but forgive me for that. Um, just like there. And that looks really good. Now this area right in here, I'm gonna sample this color, Option or Alt click, and just paint right over here. And see how easy that is to fix? And right in here as well, I'm gonna fix that too. Okay, and I'm gonna sample here and just paint down here, like here, like that, and click right here and just paint there. And I like that. And by the way, if you have the Tony Kuiper TK7 Go panel and actions, on the combo panel, if you click on actions, there's an action called color clone that'll set you up just like I set you up with a blank pixel layer and uh, put you in the color blend mode. So there's an action for that. And I use that all the time, but I wanted to show you how to do it. And then this area right here, let's go and sample this bluish tone in here. And I'm going to paint that blue right up in here as well. Okay, and just like that, I think we look good. Oh, and here's an area right here. I want to fix this up as well, right there. Maybe on here too. There's some gray in here. Let's paint some blue in there. And I think that looks pretty good. So here it is before that color clone layer. And here it is after. So just like that, we were able to fix it up. Well, there it is, everyone. That was... Uh, Episode number 40 of my Topaz Studio 2 Creative Toolbox series, My How the Time Flies By. Ha and I'm having so much fun doing this, and I really appreciate all of you who tune in and watch my tutorials. 
Hey, if you enjoyed the tutorial today, please give it a like, share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe, click that bell notification icon. Then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll be notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. And I'll see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.